What's up, y'all? It's Trey Bose. You're watching YouTube the right way. You dig? Got it. Today, we're going to figure out how you guys going to start your own clothing brand. So before we're going to start into this, go down, hit the like button, comment, and also in the description, go to Betray the Hype LA, cop a t-shirt, cop a hoodie. So we're going to go right into it, guys. So if you want to start your own brand, do sole proprietorship, which is 100% yourself, or you can do co-ownership, which is more than one person. So two people or more. So with sole proprietorship, is 100% on you. So when you have to go get the products, uh, you have to go make the products, go shipping, uh, buy material, ads, marketing, making a website. It's so much things that you have to do. So sole proprietorship. I, I, in my opinion, I think it's really good that you, you're doing the whole brand by yourself. It's very hard. I definitely advise you to go find a little bit of help from either your friend, or your parents, or sole proprietorship is a hundred percent on you. You're buying the products yourself. Uh, a lot of, of your money is coming out of from you up front. But the cool thing is you're getting a hundred percent of the profit back. But starting off with a clothing brand. The profit that you get, and if you really want to grow the brand, it's only going right back into the brand. So people that are starting clothing brands and they're selling so many stuff, I don't really think they're making that much of a profit uh, because you, you kind of want to grow to your, you want to grow your brand. So a majority of the money is also, is always going back. Usually when you're about to start, this is very rare to happen. Not saying that it cannot happen, but it's very rare. So self proprietorship is really great. Is your DBA license, or you go get your, um, for your company, brand your company. Uh, then after that, you got to get your EIN license, which is kind of basically like a social security uh, number, but it's for your own business. So um, you you have that number so you can actually get stuff for a cheaper price. You can go get it for wholesale. Since we live in LA, you get that license. You're able to go to certain stores. That's 10 times cheaper than on the internet. You get items, uh, products that's so much more cheaper and then resell it for higher prices. There's two, there's wholesale and there's resale. I think to do a clothing brand, you have to get the wholesale. Yeah, just we we training way off a of topic. It is a great time right now. Go down, hit that like button, help me help out my page for the analytics to get somebody else that's trying to figure out how to start a, a clothing brand. They can see my videos. And also go down to the in the description, check out Betray the Hype LA, you dig. Don't forget to subscribe, run it up, you dig. We talked about uh sub proprietorship now with uh co ownership. It's two or more people, it's a better, there's less money up front. You can divide you can divide how much money you have to get out of pocket. because uh, when you start a brand, there's a there's a really a lot of expenses that come through with branding that a lot of people do not talk about. So there's products that you're selling, there's website, there's ads, there's marketing, um, taxes, all these things. It, it all comes up, come back to bite you, and you don't really see it until it start coming out and shipping too as well. Shipping is very expensive, guys. People don't really think about this, but you're selling a product for a certain amount of price and then all these other little things come back and hit you. So two, three years out of your brand, a lot of people are not really profiting that much off. Like you're getting gains, but you're not really profiting off that much because you have to also, you have to also think that there's so much expenses in making a clothing brand and you have to reinvest your money right back. So just something to be aware of, guys. But uh, co-ownership is really great, guys. So by doing that, they can help with the products. They help with making it. We start, we first start making all our products all by hand uh, from home. And you see the back, I got like a little cricket there. That's how we started. Then we moved up to doing sublimation. And then we're doing DG, DTG printing. And a whole bunch of stuff next is probably on 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 site it's, it's, it's a lot of things that you just got to keep on growing but the disadvantage guys is that you may butt heads many people won't have the same opinion of each other um profit too when you go into profit you got to divide it how many people that's in the group how many people that started it um one person can't really just hold all of the money but just make sure that you do have someone that can manage the money and know uh things that they have to do in the company so the next thing is how to grow your brand when you first start, and it's very difficult, guys. 
I would advise you guys to start very small, small as in 28, 25 products when you first start on. Think about your whole family of who may buy your uh, clothing brand, who may buy your item. That would be a great way to start because when you first start, you don't really know who's going to buy it. You don't really, uh, you kind of have your scheme of your brand, but you don't really know fully how your brand's going to work. Uh, who, what's your type of people that's going to buy it. So until you start it and do some ads and revenues and marketing and see areas that are buying your product more, it goes really deep, guys. Um, you don't really know until you start. So I would advise you guys to start pretty low, 25, 28 products and just sell them out and see who buys them. And if you go, if you sell out, hey, great. Now you know that you can increase a little bit more next time. Maybe next time start at 40 and see who's going to buy the next a batch of items and just keep on going up from there you don't want to start at 50 and then you only sell 20 and now you're like stuck it'll get you very discouraged you may not want to make your next batch because you lost out on money and you think that people don't really like your brand but the thing is you just started uh, instant gratification guys when you first started a brand uh just because your page is not growing or your website is not selling that much don't mean that it's a fail or it's not working. It, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of years for most people to turn on their fourth brand and still haven't made things work doing it for seven, eight years. So if one thing is not working for you, just you have to be able to take change and adapt. And just like with coronavirus, you know, change, you have to adapt. That's anything with life. You have to take change and just adapt with it. So maybe one little thing's not working. So like it's not selling because of your website, which happens sometimes. They don't like your website. It, it doesn't it doesn't uh, hold attention to people. You got to change it. Maybe your branding is not good. Maybe your product don't really have a certain, it's not you, you know, like your your product or your brand, if it doesn't really have a main audience, you're just making clothes. So who's going to buy, you know, you have to know your audience. You have to know who you're selling to. Your website has to match it. That's to hold people attention. Even off of these ads, you're probably not advertising at a right city of who's probably already oversaturated. Like, Everybody's doing their ass in LA and Los Angeles because there's so many people there, but you know, your stuff is kind of going underneath the radar compared to if you're doing secret tip compared to if you're advertising at a more lower uh, place where not much ads are going to, you know, that's just throwing out a little bit of gym for you guys. But a lot of these little things matter. Yes, you have to kind of know what works because you know, there's, there's pillars to this. There's products, there's your ads, there's marketing. And their sales, there's websites, it, all these things matters into your clothing brand. So social media is very quick, you know, it's always going. So if you're, if your ad or it's on Facebook or whatever you that you're adding on is not bringing in people, how can you expect your your product to grow? You know, you you kind of have to get your brand out when you first started. So I think that's one of the most important things, material products, but. Also, just getting your brand out. The more people that I see it, the more people you have a chance of buying it. You want to grow as high as you can. So, and I understand that people, uh, I'm not growing as fast as I want, but you have to understand some of these things take time. Growing a business isn't really easy and it's not for everybody, but you have to understand that the instant gratification can really kill people's confidence. You just have to be consistent and also really love what you're doing, guys, because I kid you not, starting with even um, our brand, we take a lot of hours into doing this. It, it takes a lot of hours. And someone that even working full time yet, you have to find the time to go in beyond above and to, to keep on making your idols because you may be tired. You may not spend time with loved ones, but you, when you have your goal and you said you have to keep on being consistent with it. And that's just a hard thing to do, being consistent and just understanding that it, these things take time. A lot of people are not consistent or they don't want to put in the hours to make clothes or anything like this, your own business. But you know, it takes time and you have to put time into your business, guys. You know, you're thinking about starting a brand or a business or anything or clothing, just be willing to put time into it, guys, because it takes a lot of time. And don't be afraid to do or try new things because there's there's so much, so much things that you can do out there. There's no one way to do something. It's never. So just be open to new things, you know, uh, even with your clothing brand. Be open to new different styles, new texts, new material. Try something new. Not something that's like different from how you plan, how your company is made. But, you know, like try something new. That
So guys, just be patient with your goals and just understand that this is something that you have to enjoy. It's gonna be hard in the beginning, but when you really enjoy something and you love it, that it's not gonna feel like work. And just keep on growing. Keep on growing, be consistent, and understand what you're trying to do, guys. It's Trey Rose. You watch YouTube the right way, you dig. Thanks, like, comment, do what you gotta do. Let's run it up. Let's get it.